a Pompeii guy? What's going on, fam? What's going on with you, man? I'm cool. All right, man. So, how you feeling today, bro? Man, I feel good, bro. Today a good day. Um, yeah. I'm not in jail. Fair. And I ain't under six feet, so it's perfect here. You did. Yeah. So, uh, first question to thee. Yeah. Who is your Super Bowl pick? Oh, shit, bro. Bro, if Tom Brady coming back, bro, how you gonna go against that? You did. I'm asking, how you go against Tom Brady? When I talk about this year, I was saying who was, who you was. Because oh, I, I know a lot of New Orleans people was I picked, I picked, I, I picked, um, I ain't gonna lie to you, I picked the Saints. You know what <laughs> no, I'm saying? Though, like, uh, from the Rams. We had the Rams and the Bengals in the Super Bowl. Right, 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 right. New Orleans was torn. Oh, who was my Super Bowl pick in the New Super Orleans was torn because Man, you know, I, I it was the New Rams. Orleans. I'm going to tell you why. Tell me why. Eli Apple, bro. And you know what's fucked up about it, though? I wanted the Bengals because I wanted Jamar Chase to see. Man, I did that shit as a rookie, Joe Burrow. Bro, but Eli Apple. <laughs> Eli Apple, bro. I never in sports like disliked. A person so much, dog. Like you gotta understand, like how rich our culture is. And, like you can't. This ain't no city you could just come talk shit about, bro. Like, right. The shit he said was yeah. super whack, but yeah. but but they they slayed them though. You see what they what they uploaded his mom joint on Twitter. So look, oh, do you feel man. like that was really her? I don't know, bro. That's what they said. I, don't I know. saw this shit. It was a chick with nut all yeah, over her face. Oh man, I was like, bro, that's a hard because her mom. But his mama did deactivate her Twitter and shit. So I'm saying, and so like, why would you deactivate the Twitter if it wasn't you? So what you what you do at this point, like, 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 if, if, if you was Eli, Eli Apple, say, bro, I humble like, myself, bro. <laughs> I humble myself because what else a nigga got? If mom's herself doing that, if that was her, what else she doing on camera, bro? Man, Man. yourself, brother. You think that was like uh, his LeBron moment when he found out about uh, Delonte West? Nah, LeBron moment was a tad bit different. LeBron mom was young. You know what I'm saying? At the time. His mom was young as fuck, too. Like, that lady, look, whoever that was, was with, all that, with all that shit on her face, she looked good. You feel me? Yeah, like, but I don't know. I think, I think the LeBron situation was a little bit more of like, a loyalty thing that, you know, like. Look what they did to that dude life, though. Look how LeBron literally. But that's karma, that man, man. Not that man. That man. That man. That's karma. That's karma. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's karma. I'm just saying, though, if, if, if that man and your mama hit it off, like. But that's different, though, like. <laughs> but everybody knew except LeBron, though. I think that so, was the fucked so up why, thing why, 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 all right, me and you, we doing whatever we doing and got a street shit, rap shit, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'll put you to the side and be like, say, bro, like, you know, nigga fucking with your mama or some but shit. Do you understand why they did it? Because, because, look, check this out. This is what you got. All right, so look. No, look, you, you got to justify that, Listen, bro. so listen. No, you can't justify it. Right. I'm just telling you. All right. All right, so look, check this out. I'm this is how I feel they, they looked at it. All right. All right. So as long as LeBron on his team, we going to eat because he going to keep us. We can't let LeBron find out about this, bro. Uh, so we, not a whole fuck the whole team. <laughs> yeah, if I'm LeBron, fuck all y'all. That's what it came down to. That's when he found out. Listen, there was only... So look, I'm trying to see who I heard say this. Come on. Man. I heard somebody say this, bro. But it was like the whole team tried to keep it from him to, to try because he, he was a free agent that summer. Man, fuck the whole team. <laughs> so look, the whole thing was he can't find out about this until after the free agency period over. Man, how man, how weird that is. Y'all no. know it's weird. So, so y'all trying so so check this out. You go hold your nuts on me to lock me in and think we gonna be super cool playing basketball together. <laughs> no, Bitch, that, I'm gonna get all y'all traded. Hey, y'all so, going to the GD. Well at that point at that point, you know that's when it was gonna get to the direct finger point once it came down to that. Right. Because because that's just Delonte West fault though. Hey, it's my own. It's really not because look, Delonte West was the one who didn't want to hold the shit in. Well, why, he just, why he ain't checking with the man? Man, come on, man. Listen. No, bro. We going back and forth about some fire shit. Listen. I story, think, I think man, most man, of so his man. mama no, didn't want him to listen, know. Listen. Fuck that. You, we, we play, <laughs> we work together, bro. You supposed to come to me and be like, say, son, listen, your mom at my hat. Is it cool? <laughs> You put it, and then listen. But the dude ain't, you know, Delonte West ain't rap too tight. So the mama, this what this I think this why it came out. 
You can look it up. It came out because the mama didn't want to put that pressure on LeBron at that point in time. The mama didn't want to put that pressure on LeBron at that point in time because she didn't want to be one of the contributing factors to LeBron leaving she Cleveland. Like, bro, she was though. That, it, that's yeah. Once it came out, <laughs> like, but it came. So, so, so you telling me, oh, damage control for less damage control, all they live the more damage. That's just how that's crazy. That's exactly why it blew up in their face. But that's crazy. Like, let I, me tell you something. No, man. LeBron probably was going through his mama phone or something. You heard me? Look, my unusual phone. I lost my phone. Type shit. I feel like LeBron found out in the most fucked up way. Because See, that's what I'm saying. Cause he didn't know who the fuck to slap because nobody got slapped in the process. And and he slapped the whole team in the face when he left and went to Miami and sure. won the fucking you know, sure. and he actually won. But that, that that's the best that's the best success story ever. So would you would have went back to Cleveland? Yeah, that's I would, the question. I went back. With the same owner? With the same what? With the same owner? Who 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 wrote that dumbass yeah, letter? But but it ain't about the owner, dude. You know what I'm saying? It's about, that's like if a nigga play, if I play football for the Saints. Come on, man. That's how a nigga dream to do that. Like, I, and that's some shit like that happened to me. God forbid, nigga. I would have came back home. Just to show a nigga, like, yeah, I'm he. Back. I feel like I feel like that was LeBron with uh saying, you know what? It's still fuck y'all. I come on the ring and then I dip again. For sure. <laughs> she did the ultimate For sure. Shit. That's what he was supposed to do, though. Now, look at the karma he going through this season. He below them Pelicans. Man, come on, bro. You hear me? Them Pelicans you, just came you, back from 23 I'm a, points. I'm a LeBron fan. That's my buddy. We bro. just came back from 23 points. Shout out CJ3G. Shout out B.I. Shout out Jackson Hayes. Right. Fuck Zion. Shout out... Uh, that's how you feel about Zion? That's how I feel about Zion. What the fuck has he done for us? You remember what Eddie Murphy said not, back in? Not, no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. All right, so tell me this. We feel about Zion how y'all felt, felt about motherfucking Andrew Bynum. Oh, that nigga was... He was always what? Hurt. Oh, exactly. But... 85 games in three years, bro. Listen to me, though. You have 82 games a season. Maybe 100 with the playoffs, right? Listen, bro. You only played in 80. That dude is a franchise player, bro. Not our franchise player. Who the franchise player for the Pelicans is? It's, not, it's Brandon Ingram now. It's Brandon Ingram and CJ. Let me tell you something. They just released an email, right, about season tickets that did not include Zion in it. Right. You, you got, you're away from the team indefinitely. We're not even marketing you anymore. What that telling you? Read between the lines. This happened every NBA season so with a different so player. about to do that. I feel like we're gonna trade them to the Knicks. We're gonna take their first round pick, and we probably get it. We see. see well, that's good for the youngsters because no. he in a big market. Yeah, but he uh, he trying to. But, but is he gonna be big healthy up there too? Like New York hey, ain't man, no different problem, than man, he gonna go from eating crawfish and motherfucking turkey next to eating fried rice and chicken up uh, uh, every bodega up there. The <laughs> dude got a, if they got do dash and fast food, it's a problem for him. How you figure that, man? Because. So this that's the they, they they say he like to sit around eat windows and shit. He he's still 18, 19 years old. You gotta realize, dude, dude, dude he my... he is physically mature. Maybe not he's not mentally. You know, right, you feel me? Like so you like fuck the nigga, bro. God, I damn. mean, get rid of him. He don't want to be here. They made that known. He don't want to be here. He don't want to be here. Fuck no. Mm. I don't Fuck know, no. Put me on some G with the pedicle, He know? don't want his family to say he don't want to be here. Now he ain't say it directly, but come on, for your family to say that, bro. If your mom and your sister come up and be like, bro, j back hustling. We know for a fact if your mom and your sister know, you motherfucking back hustling because they know one thing. They right. know J. They right. know J. J went from being in the house. J and popped over 10 new cars. Oh, shot man. 20 videos. Oh, love. You heard me? Bro, my mama will really call me. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> for real. Real. My mama, you know, my mama. but I don't know if his mama jumped the gun. She could be on some some jump yeah, the gun type shit like Bow Wow Mama was. You know, Bow Wow Mama dictated a lot in his career early on before but, G. The dude was an underage rapper though. Fuck Let me tell you something about Bow. No, listen, Zion not old enough to buy a a, a, a keep moving uh cigar in in New Orleans right now. Our, our tobacco is twenty one. Tell you something, bro. Listen, get the Bow Wow. Bow Wow gotta be. One of the greatest, probably the number one kid star ever in no. rap music. In rap music? Yes. 
Let's not pull music. up. Let me think about I'm finna say because you can't. Rap music. The greatest. I'm finna say because the greatest kid star ever. Michael Jackson. Motherfucking rap. right. Oh, bro. Yeah. I said what? Rap music. Yeah, rap no, but in rap, rap music. Yeah. In rap music. I don't want. Could you consider the Wayne a kid star? Yes, indeed. Oh, wait, yeah. That's what I'm saying, though. Wayne walked in the classroom and said, "No, you know why people don't consider Wayne." Part of that because of what he was with, but the same thing with Bow Wow. Wayne jumped into God level in this rap shit, right? So Bow Wow did too. Bow Wow had a cult like following. No, no, but, 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 but Bow Wow, yeah. Bow Wow fell from the sky and became human again. Or could we say Wayne, NBA Young Boy? Wayne went to the stars. What? Hold up, hold up. Or could we say NBA Young Boy? Let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. I think it's Wayne. I'm talking about Wayne niggas that's like eight, nine, ten years old. Wayne, 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 Wayne still was, Wayne was eleven. Wayne wasn't Wayne, there yet at eight, nine, at, ten. Wayne, Wayne eleven years old. But Wayne when you say child, you gotta count it from eighteen and under. No, no, no. At least, at least under thirteen. I think, fair. I think, but I that's think, that's what. See, and, under thirteen. And, and so Wayne fair. was mainstream. Wayne was mainstream at eleven, twelve. That's right. Yeah. For a success, I don't. I, I haven't seen a a thirty million dollar check in success. No, let me tell you. Hold on. Let me get that for a success as like. An uh, underage person. Damn, young. I, I think I think young boy achieved a little bit more than Wayne did. He definitely did. And I think on his own. On his exactly. Yeah. You can't you can't discredit that. But I don't think it's when Wayne became Squire Wayne. And time out. Time out. Time out. The other disrespect. Go ahead. Biggest child star ever. Soldier boy. He put, he created a market. We talking about a child brand, though. We talking. I'm talking about artists. He probably right. he probably had the biggest child brand. Right. But this is what I'm saying though. Even as an artist, think about what he said on Audio Mac. He was making 20 bands a day. Right. Just off of off of uploading his songs, they took 50 yeah. percent at the time. He was making 50, but before he go to school, he was cashing out twenty thousand dollar checks to go right. to school with. Right. Giving it to a rap, you like, you know what I'm saying? So, 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 I, I would say a tie for me would be between young boy NBA yeah, young and boy young boy and soldier boy. boy, young boy and soldier boy. I see it's a tie because you know, I, I, because we can say the way young boy did it. Okay, this young boy finesse. I made millions of dollars sitting on my sofa. How is that possible? You know why I think we got how is that possible? That whole conversation right. when when soldier boy and. Uh, 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 NBA young boy or at Wayne's age, we got to see the impact that they would have had on the culture to be but, able to say that we became the biggest. This is what I'm saying. So this star. is why so I say soldier as, boy. As, as of right now, I feel like it's still Wayne it's because still Wayne. because Wayne is granddaddy to this whole shit. But Wayne, think about this Wayne though. The future. No, but you, but you, you got to keep it Gito. The, Wayne had help up until they left. With he was already a grown man when yeah, they left. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Soldier absolutely. boy didn't have no help. Soldier boy sat his computer and no, figured no, this did, shit out. He did. He did. Once Kyler Park and seen him. He What's marketed Kyle? his songs as other people's songs so that he get the download. Yeah, but once, once Khaled Park seen him, he had all the help everybody else had. Right, but before Khaled Park even seen him, he was still making twenty thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. a day. Yeah. That's yeah, a, that, yeah. that, that you clear me. You clearing what a hundred and forty thousand a week? Right. At before you even have a deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In Kyle, the early two thousands, because right. Khaled Park turned him into a millionaire. Early two thousands. This is when when physical copies are still selling. Right. You feel me? So I feel like Soldier Boy would be the biggest child star. So, and rap. So let me ask you something while we, while we talking about it. That's deep. Who you think? Who you think had the biggest impact out of these three on a culture change of music? Lil Wayne, Chief Keef, or NBA Youngboy? Okay. Ha. So look, it's, come it's on, a, look. It's it's a, a, all right, so look. This is Wayne. Wayne all right, so look, 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 look. I have a. It's a tie between it's, Wayne and Chief Keef, and let me tell yeah, you why. It's two right. different sides to it. Chief Keith influenced the the, the, the not yeah Wayne did too. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you why though. If it wasn't for Wayne, Chief Keith wouldn't have had dreads. For sure, facts. You feel me? Like Chief Keith wouldn't have had no dreads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, they wouldn't have like, been wearing the fucking. It's three, it's three different generations. Every time Wayne yeah. start dressing a certain way, the whole culture changed. For sure, yeah. If it wasn't for Wayne, you wouldn't have Young he, Thug and all of these. He influenced like that. Chief Keith, but Chief Keith took it and ran with it and took it to a whole nother. All right, place. so this is what Chief Keith influenced to me. Go ahead. That ignorant real shit. No niggas was see. Rap was fun back in the G because it was fun dissecting the rap to see who they subliminally could have been dissing. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you know you know when Pop was dissing Biggie and you know when Biggie was dissing Pop. Right. Most of the time, first don't fuck the yeah. bitch. Click you claim. Yeah, but <laughs> you know what I mean. But then you know Pop can make you wait to the end of the song to say yeah. you know what. Fuck Biggie, fuck my Mafia, beat, fuck Nas, yeah. fuck yeah. So Put the address on it. Yeah. yeah. But now Chief Keith just made it blatantly clear, like it's cool to diss these niggas when they dead. No, you know what I'm saying? I Everything. Because even when Pac died, even when Pac died, Biggie sat down and 
gave a we a might not agree with it, interview. but we can't we can't lie. He definitely like made nobody that. was really dissing yeah. dead niggas before Chief Key started that he shit made with that JoJo. Wave. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like him and JoJo really. Cracked the door open with that shit. Right, right, you feel right, me? Right, right. And, and, and Chief Keith brought light to the independent scene on another level, which a lot of artists didn't. But he was signing in school. He was, but he was getting in, in and out of it with all the local niggas, which right. shed light to the local scene. His beef with all the real well, street I definitely niggas. Well, say, I definitely say Wayne did that. Because Wayne with, did it with the squad, then he did it with current. He did it with three, four different factions. He, he, broke, through, he broke through the streets with BG and But none, with of the it, none of it went on a national level because you didn't huh? have outlets like... Acad Wait, hold on. You didn't have outlets like DJ Academic, right. which was covering the war in Chirac. Wayne didn't need academics because he had drama and all but I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know about a lot of this beef until I got older like we we are able to they got beef yesterday we know exactly what's going on today but yeah today because of DJ drama I mean what, that, what we can, what is, do we credit that to them or social media so hold up I never wait who white was beefing with though so when Wayne, like when Wayne, Wayne was beefing, like, oh, I really don't have time for Willie the Squid beefing with Gilly the Kid. Wayne was beefing with Gilly. That no beef. Then he, all right, so the beef with Kid, 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 the beef that with currency. That was no beef, bro. No, but those no, dudes, nobody died, but no, it was but look, beef that was each no other. Beef. Those, that was disagreement. No, but look, those dudes still had, those dudes still had industry. So that shit with Gilly was actually a beef, bro. No, 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 no but check it out. Look, even with Gilly though, nobody okay, so what about with Forty Glock in them? Nobody got shot, but somebody could. No, but look, even with Forty Glock, you talking about all? You talking about all people with you talking about all people with real industry cosigns, even right. though they okay, might. So what about his beef with the squad when he got shot at nineteen years old? That, that shit, that not that was beef, but they all. All right, they, that was that's that's all right. But it was the niggas behind the scenes tripping with them. Right. But look, look, on, the bro. war in Chirac. Look, the war in Chirac. These dudes that Chief Keep is beefing with don't got no labels. No right. real, no people in the industry backing him. It's just a bunch of fucking gorillas with guns that he got beef with. Right. Some of these niggas don't even got a thousand followers. For sure. And he's he's saying a name on record. They only got a thousand. He shed light to the independent scene on a whole nother level. Right. He shed. He made people like. See, I feel like that's what Young Boy did. He did. Man, young Boy did feel, it too. Young I feel boy, like young that's boy what Young Boy did. Young Boy followed in that shoe. Well, because Chief Keith still took uh, Chief Keith made still these crackers want to come into Chirac right. and say, "Oh shit, Chief Keith, I, I want that. Yeah, I want him. I want." Right. He made niggas go shopping in Chicago right. while niggas was dying. He had niggas coming with big bags saying, "I want that nigga, that nigga, that nigga." Sure. Never heard of him. I want him. And that's exactly why they banned his ass because that's what the, they did. Yeah. They you banned know, him. Yeah. He can no longer go to every time he stepped foot in Chicago. He's subject to get arrested. Like, that's fucked up. He can't even go back to his own city. I'm pretty sure he don't want to. Yeah. He's a terrorist. Like, like, he can't even buy a plane ticket to that bitch for nobody. No. Nah. You hear me? He can't even buy... I can't even manage... Let me buy me a ticket. Nah, nigga. They don't want him leaving, leaving L.A. Damn. Truth be told, they don't want that man leaving nowhere but... You know his last show he did through a hologram? That's crazy. He can't... He didn't shut down all his shows because they know so dark. Did you not see when he had the whole old block on stage? Right. Like this, 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 this mother, look, look, what that is, 64, he had 63, 64 motherfuckers on that stage with him. Right. You hear me? I think it took the, the word Sosa to a whole nother level. Right. He made it bigger than the fucking Scarface Sosa. He made it bigger than Scarface Sosa. He took Man. Sosa to a whole nother yeah, level. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's bro. fire, bro. <laughs> that's fire. I, remember, I remember watching it, watching him do his thing, and I, I had to be like, you know, earned the 20s watching that shit, and I was just like, I was really confused on like, man, what yeah. the fuck is this kid doing? Yeah. He had this collar flipped up and shit. The shit was crazy. Did he get that from that? See, that's Chicago swag because you knew yeah. Kanye and Common and yeah, Consequence. That's how all them rock. This nigga, it just looked like a nigga just came off the block and started rapping. And, and, and that's exactly what he was. But I, he, that's exactly what it was. Me, I, shoot at a nigga and now let's go rap about it. About, yeah. You gotta think about myself as an artist. I'm influenced by baby, like on a whole another level, like so. Nigga looking like it big. So what's one so what's one thing about baby? They went they, they took it from the studio to the streets. Right. You feel what I'm saying? See Chief Keith and them did the opposite. Right. They do the shit in the streets, take it to the it's studio. To right. You feel what I'm saying? Like Wayne said they used to sit around and whatever happened that day, that became a subject right. for their music. You right. know what right. I'm saying? Right. They were like Juvie always had the most interesting stories because he was in the project. Right. Wayne was in school, you know, them niggas was in school, BG was wherever he was at. Turk, wherever you at, but Juve always had the more interesting story because right. he in a project. Right. And that's how Juve's shit, you can tell. Like, Juve was more advanced than the, the, the number one 
the advanced hot boy out of all of them. You can tell he listened to music from all over. He was, right. he was fans of people from New York, L.A. Right, right. Not only that, though, Juve had to convert styles because he was a bounce artist first, just like mm -hmm. Soldier Slim. So that's what made they swag because they say so much in a small time frame. Right. It, it was to like like Soldier Slim. Right. Something like that. Whatever, whatever. He say so much yeah, that you know that, really that's spit though. They, yeah, they had you feel me? Really it was something about that Magnolia. You know, the Magnolia was built for musicians. Right, I didn't know that. It is like it's like everybody, every artist out the Magnolia is like their spirit really carried I, I, I that. Call it triple. I feel like yeah, that project was created for musicians who moved into town. I, I, I you, know that. you never know that because yeah. guess what? What's right down the street where a lot of underground blues the sandpiper. Right, you feel me? That's where them gigs was at sandpiper. Yeah, other, sandpiper, yeah. yeah so. So it's just like, you know, they, they built that. They I built. got some story about the side pipe, man. That's crazy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> but we need one. We need so, one. Look, I ain't gonna say no names. Me and my mans one night, you heard me? Me and my mans. Sure everybody it, was, it, was three, it was three of my partners. We had the side pipe. And I don't know where the fuck I was coming from. It was like, man, we had the side pipe. And I'm like, bitch, I don't want to really come over there. Because I ain't know how to park. And I don't really... I don't know something about downtown niggas. We don't really like going uptown like that. Like we got everything where we at. Well, see, my mom and my daddy from uptown. But it's different. My daddy out the north. But it's different. Mom, so you mean to tell me you go pass up Kermit's and all this shit on K Bond and go to a club uptown? No. But exactly. That's what I'm saying. Nah, so, nah. but listen. So look, let me get to the story. So I'm like, ah, I don't really want to come over there. You like, I'm like, you like, man, come fuck with us. Come fuck with us. So I went out there. and I don't know if this nigga was hurting this night or something, man. This nigga met like. Bro, a straggler, you heard me? I mean, she was bad, built, all kind of shit, but she had the gas. I guess he was fucked up, so he blowing gas with her, you heard me? Facts. So me and that bitch, I'm like, man, what this nigga doing? Like, so he I, on one. I FaceTime with me in the back of the seat with her, you heard me? He get topped off. He, <laughs> she mobbing that boy at home. I'm like, man, what you doing? What? He like, <laughs> he like nothing. That boy said, <laughs> he, he went over there. And I know he ain't had no money, you hear me? So I'm like, boom. So I'm like, dog, you went by a house? He's like, yeah, 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 I beat or whatever, you hear me? Woo de woo. I'm like, he like, man, that shit kind of smell kind of funny. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> so look, me, I'm stupid. First thing I asked a nigga when they said, I said, oh, yeah, you beat? What the pussy was that? was good. Bitch, you had a, you, you, you raw that, huh? That boy oh, said, that boy oh. said, that boy said, no. I said, bitch, you lying. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know you did. <laughs> You didn't even spell it on the boy. Yeah. I got a fucked up story about Caesars with me. Oh. So one day, so look, my dumb ass, see, look, this is when you fall victim to trying to be down. Oh, this was no. handballs hit the, hit the no. scene. I know you didn't hit the ball. So. Bob Barry. This one, K-Real was the DJ. Shout out K-Real was right, the right, DJ right, at right, Caesars. Right. FEMA Friday. We get there early. We like say, look, this is what we going to do. We going to go get our wristband. Right. Boom. So we're waiting that line. Yeah, that. we're going to come outside, roll up. We're going to walk in with our guns on. It's already rolled. We get there. We, we get there. You know what I'm saying? So far, we get in there. We go pay. We get our wristband. We go holler at K-Real. We get some drink. We like, all right, cool. Bam, we pounce. We bounce out to the cup. So we go to the cup. Both of us pops a whole yellow oh, bar. No. This got to be even like, have. Not even a half. The whole ball? The whole ball. Junkie mode. 2009. You know, that's when these bitches just, no, nah, they bitches flooded from ten. Man, we pop a whole yellow ball. I, I'm rolling a blunt. So, this is the last thing I remember is lighting that bitch. I light that bitch. So, just as sure as I just, I woke up. This is about 9.30. It is 9.30. I woke up. It's like close to 3 o'clock. Nigga, the police got the streets blocked off. So, if you ever been to Caesars, you know it, right? So, that's Caesars. Right, it's the parking lot. They got that one area right. in between the bus where you could park on the street. Right. I dumb ass parked on the street. Right. So, we both had been knocked up. The blunt in my hand. On top of his Y'all never made it in the club. Fuck no. We never made it back in the club. It's like, the, like people taking pictures of the thing. We dead in that bitch and everything. The street blocked off and everything. Now, we in the car sleep. We got a scale. We, we down oh, back. Lord. Scale, weed, guns, and the seat. Everything. I'm talking about everything busted over right here. Drinks, alcohol, we just gets up and pull off. But it's like 2 30, 3 o'clock, everybody coming out the club. We woke up right when everybody coming out. Man, I'm talking about some people taking pictures of everything we did. My head in between and see his head. <laughs> see he didn't pull the visor down. I'm talking about something. The blunt was just like this lit. Oh, 
never made it. Just burnt the middle console, bro. In our first season, we slept at least a good six hours. Wow. A full nap. You heard me? It went right. Just woke up and drove off. The street blocked off and everything. Wow. The street blocked off. I'm talking about something. All the police had to do was really shine light now. They and fuck dead. These niggas had buku shit in this yeah, bitch. If we was crazy. dead, we yeah. did not. Ain't nothing happened though. That's a, that's was crazy, crazy. Hey, I stuff. call season skeezers, bro. Straight up. Skeezers. But you know, back then it was it was every day of the week. So back then it was let's see, let's see Tuesday Caesars, Wednesday. Sports View, yeah. Thursday, Thursday Jays, <laughs> Friday, Caesars, Caesar, Saturday, what back to Jays, Key West, Jays or Key West, it's depending on how far you want to drive, right, yeah. but Key West, boy, I got a story about that too, boy, yeah. so me and my cousins, we went to Key West on Saturday, Right. we in the line, Right. so one of my cousins, this nigga here, he's like, man, let's go, this shit taking too long, Right. you heard me, so it's me, my cousin, and my brother. Me bearing the shot. Yeah, me bearing the shot. So we stand in the line. We leave. Right. We get a call like eight minutes later. Boy, why did you shout out the whole line at Key West? Boy. I swear to God. And that was the day it got shut down. They, once that, after that day, Key West was never open. They shot out the whole line. They shot out the whole line. They shot the whole line up. They aired the line out like eight minutes after we left. Damn, y'all would have still been in that line. Too. My partner was hitting us up to see if that was us that did that. Because they said, y'all just disappeared. I thought that was y'all at first. We were like, Damn. no, bitch, we really left. We were like, no, bitch, we really left. Hey, man, this bitch, y'all back down time. No, <laughs> 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 real. Jeez. <laughs> Not <laughs> no Grand Prix with motherfucking Spark Club, bro. <laughs> <That baby. laughs> so, so Every, you, ever, you, ever, you ever experienced something that you thought happened and then it found out it didn't happen? You know what they call that? That's nah, called a Mandela effect. Nah, I never, I never, I never experienced that, man. I never experienced Mandela effect. Mandela effect. You know why they? You know what that's about? Go ahead, break it down. I'm learning. Mandela effect. So a lot of people remember Nelson Mandela did 27 years right. in jail. Right. Some people, for some reason, think that they remember some shit about him dying in the mid 80s in jail. But right. then he gets out a few years later and then dies in 2013. So some people like, no, this motherfucker really died. People remember seeing newspaper clippings, seeing it on the news, remember seeing his funeral televised, and then some people saying, nah, it didn't happen. So they feel like we didn't came into a, a, a parallel universe to where, let's say, for instance, in one universe, one day you might remember, damn, today I had McDonald's for lunch. No, I had burger. All right, so do you remember? We got to pull it up. Let him see the exact right. Do you remember the movie Kazam with Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah. Do you remember the movie Shazam with Sinbad? Yeah. How? Shazam never existed, so they say. And Sinbad said he never did the fucking movie. But hold on, hold on, man. <laughs> Sinbad played played a role in a movie when he was a genie. When he was a genie. That was Shazam, and they, and they say that it don't exist. But listen, you can't find that movie nowhere. Go look right, for hold it. Hold up, stop. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Hold up. Whatever movie he played a role, it was he Shazam. had some, some fucking um. Yeah, the genie, yeah, the genie type shit. shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I That's remember Shazam. this movie. I remember this movie. They say it never happened. Get the fuck out, of brother. We gotta show. No, you, you can't even find the no, movie. There's a movie clipping when he had the fucking genie. You did, yeah, but right? brother, find I remember the whole movie we'll with the two Me little too. white kids. Yeah, they they they, they wanted their daddy to fall back in what love. What the fuck you talking about? Ain't no. Nah, Brother, you bro, can't find the movie. Me listen, and him went I got, I can't find so it. Look, I've been looking on every internet movie database and everything. I can't find nothing about it. And Sinbad says he never did it up, either. Sinbad said, y'all got me fucked up. I ain't do that shit. So Sinbad, nah, he did a part in a movie where he did that. It might not have been a whole fucking movie. Like no, no, no he, said he, never, he said he never dressed like no genie. They said Shazam never existed until yeah. 2019 when the white guy when did it. The yeah. Movie. Well, oh, fuck it. It's a parallel universe then. <laughs> hey, it gotta be. Uh, yeah, I remember Shazam. Yeah. There was another shit with the Kit Kat that I seen. The Kit Kat logo. I was like, oh, shit. I saw the shit. Now, the other thing I saw, I saw the shit with the John F. Kennedy with the three doors on the car. And that the was the other deepest one. one. Fucking doors. Brother, like, that was the I deepest one. Like, then, so did you see the shit with Michael Jackson? No, I didn't see that I didn't one. see that. Put me on. So, the one with Michael Jackson, one of them showed, um... The uh the van that carried his body goes straight to the funeral home. Another one shows it goes somewhere else, and this motherfucker hopped out the back. 
Get the fuck out of here, bro. My dog. And then they showing like this nigga body going up. They showing like when the um when the fucking uh the helicopter hey, lifting man, his body up. The fucking nah, bro. I can show it to you. Nah, the fucking thing's getting shit. unstable. Yeah. It's, but he he ended up jumping from the reaction. Like he, like yeah, he really was letting them tote his real body around. So legend is Michael Jackson. You notice yeah. that the this is into it. Listen, yeah. this is into yeah. it. You ready? Right. That bitch. Soon as the tickets went on sale, it made eighty million in five minutes. Right. So what if all of this is Mike took that what money? What if all of this is, is he, just was five, he was five hundred million in debt? I'm not gonna say no matrix. You shit. can live up eighty. You know I, what people said about that money? We they can keep the tickets. Yo, but look, look. Don't even care. Check it's this out. Michael. What about this? What if what if niggas like Michael and them got so much money that you could eventually be like, hey, I want to check out a theater. What if all of this is theater, right? Like what they call it in the military is theater. And what if you get so much bread? Not no Matrix shit that you could just be like, yo, I'm out. What if they already living like on the moon and all that? Man, just say I died and just Listen, put me up there. Listen, Jeff Bezos taking motherfuckers to space every month. Check this out. Check this out. He's taking motherfuckers to space every month. Check this out. Check, 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 check this out. Check this out. No, for real. Check this out. Y'all motherfuckers talking about some shit that <laughs> I don't give two fucks about. Let me tell you why. Because it will irk my brain hey. to try to, what the fuck? That's why we say it. I would love like, to see how I sober my no, feel about the shit. I, oh, listen, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, like, fuck no. Like, right now I can focus on whatever I'm trying to do in my career, whatever I'm trying to do in my businesses. That shit is irrelevant to me. But that is the art of music to know about shit like that going on. Imagine yeah, like, listen. Listen, I promise you, my last final album that I ever dropped is going to be named The Abyss. And that's all I'm going to be talking about on that. Because and nothing deeper than that. And I will right. never make music again after that. As a, as an album. You know I, what I feel like somebody should make an album? On the lungs of Liza the Da Vinci Code. Oh, man, this nigga crazy. <laughs> you know why? So <laughs> do you believe, look, you don't think so? Man, you don't think so? Do you? So look, do you believe that Jesus' bloodline still walked this earth? You yeah. know what the Da Vinci Code proved? That Jesus had a fucking child. That Jesus wasn't perfect. Right. Okay. So look, you look at. So the, hold up. Let's let, let, let's let's stop. Me. Let's stop right now. Let's okay. stop right now. Let's break down the whole theory of Jesus and what Jesus is. All right. And okay. who Jesus is. Right. Right. All right. Christ. The definition of Christ is simply the anointed one. Right. Right. All right. Jesus. Jay didn't come into the play and tell what 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 your friend Jay Jay is coming to the dictionary or whatever. I don't know, know about it, that. It would. Bro, it was Jay didn't exist. Right. Right? All right. So before that it was Yahshua. Or Yahweh. Or yeah. Yahweh, right. right? Okay. All right. So Jesus. Hey, hey, nah, come on. That's what name. Yeshua. Yeshua. Nah. Yeah. Right? So who is Jesus? <laughs> That's what they said about him. Listen, it. I'm, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. I'm getting that. <laughs> so that right there, whatever the Vegetical <laughs> talking about, like what we talking about, right? Because Christ <laughs> is simply the anointed one, right? <laughs> Somebody with gifts that can see things from a different perspective. He he is Christ. He's anointed. God has anointed him. They say Jesus was born December 20, uh, 25th, right? Yeah. yeah. Impossible. No, I don't know. I'm yeah. just saying that's, that, that's what, but that's what, yeah. that's what, that's that's what they say, though, right? Yeah. yeah. You know who else they say was born on December 25th? Horus. Horus. You know who else they say? 33 other guys. It's, it's, all a thousand, right, it's all part of an astrological Nimrod. Chart. All right, Nimrod was the nigga that built the temple to try to get to heaven to fight God. Right. Right? right, 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 right. All right, boom. That's why Christmas and all this other shit come from. All this shit, all this religious shit based on pagan holidays, Easter Bunny with the fertility gods, where they made children and sacrificed them. You know what just fucked me up? Yeah, I go watch like the guys. Go watch Saturday guys. Yeah, that shit. That shit fucked me up. So go, go watch they had, Saturday they guys. They had a man that they thought was thrown off. He came into the shop telling us about, well, telling them about that shit, right? right. And he told the other two barbers I wasn't there. Right. He telling them, you know, leprechaun, they stole that from the black. They and did. They like, so when I went to work the next day, they man, this crazy nigga talking about some leprechaun stuff. We looked man, it up. Listen. I'm like, say, bro, he he is not wrong. He right. like, like, I'm like, bro. This shit is true. They they was black first. Right. They genocided them, bro. The whole island. Come on, man. Shit. But the, but this shit that that's different. Shit that's factual. I know about it. Like shit that I that can be proven facts. Shit this that, this shit right here. Right. When you get some time, because there's too much to talk about on here. You gotta watch this. Right. It's called Zaydi guys. And what right. they do is they break down like. It, it, the shit fucked my head up. So Bethlehem, right, where they say Jesus is from, right. is really uh, a constellation in space. So when they say that Jesus <laughs> is from Bethlehem, they, they they're talking about the the sun of all, right? right. They really talk about the sun. 
When they say the Son of God, the they Son, say the son, the son is God. Right? Yeah. So listen, so Bethlehem, where Jesus is from, when you look at the constellation, the constellation Bethlehem points straight to the sun. So when you start breaking down all the ash, this shit breaks it on a whole nother level. When they say the sun rises and brings the sun, the sun rises and then it dies and resurrects, it's the sun. They talk about the sun so check this out. dies and so resurrects. Check this out. Time out. So what ancient African history you think they got the Christianity and uh, Islam from? Where do you think that come from? That come from Africa. Absolutely. I, I so where do you think agree. that come from? So what the fuck Da Vinci know what he talking about, bro? No, right? see, look. This was da Vinci. <laughs> like, so look, it wasn't Da Vinci. The Da Vinci Code. Right? It's the Da Vinci Code right. because they say that he's the one so-called painted the Last Supper. He right. painted the image of the Last Supper, but in the Last Supper, the Last Supper was to, to Jesus' right hand. Was a pregnant woman. But to me, Mary to Magdalene, me, none of that shit. Look, to me, none of that shit matters because the shit I'm talking about. I'm the this is the killer shit. This no, is this is the shit that Jesus was perfect shit. This no, is the this, assault this, on his no, story. But this, 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 that story is to confuse you to think Jesus was even real. This shit is telling you none of that shit fucking. Well, that's what that. No, hold, that's up, what hold up, hold up, check it out. Check it out. You know what's so crazy? Check it out. You know what's so crazy? Throughout the course of thousands of years, when certain people, like uh, uh, Aristotle and this one and that one, right. people seen these people, Marco Polo, people seen these people and wrote down that they seen these people. This nigga is walking on water and doing all this shit, and then and nobody, see, drunk and then nobody see this nigga, and we ain't start talking about it till maybe four or five hundred years ago. Y'all niggas crazy. You know what's funny to me? Y'all niggas crazy. You can imagine what Jesus is gonna be walking on his bath water and shit like this. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I don't want to get into the blasphemy, bro. Yeah, me neither. Listen. <laughs> it get real. But listen, at the end of the real. day, at the end of the day. I believe in God, though. Right. I it's, do. It's a higher power. Power, absolutely. It's a higher power, bro. And and I believe God works through people. For sure. But we got to witness it. For sure. <laughs> I got to see them. For sure, for sure. When, when I try to tell them my mom about this type of shit, bro, she damn near about to like. Put you out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like it's just an open mind. Listen, when I'm I try, wrong now. When I try to tell to my mom about this presidential shit, how I told her like this nigga Trump was a better president. Mm -hmm. I bro, bro, I swear to she got oh, mad at me, bro. bro. She got Listen, mad at me. Listen, but they ain't know what. Look at what your president doing now, people. Look bro, what, 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 what the fuck by I tell you, Trump told you if this nigga got an office, gas was gonna be nine dollars. Man, he did. He said. Bro. You realize gas got up over to that exceeded the prices that it was on I Am Legend with Will Smith. Right, man, you know you saw that shit. You know that crazy. shit was crazy. That, huh? Let me tell you the ploy, right? Right. This this dude Biden way way before this war even happened. Right. His initial uh, 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 thought was let me go in and start a war with the country that controls the gas because Biden's thing is a green America. So Biden wants to cut all carbon fuel, right? He wants to cut out all that. So what's the best way to do it? Let's go pick a fight. Let's go beef with where the gas is. Let's go beef with where the gas is. So now we have a reason to tell America, yo, your gas your gas is cut off. Come on, man. It's for them to... Man, they all, all, this shit, all this shit a rabbit hole, man, that I really like. <laughs> you did, so you go bring up some shit. The hey, same, how, you feel, how you feeling about this so far? About, I'm picking your brain enough? Two I minutes. got some more shit. You two fucking minutes. me up though, I ain't gonna lie, but it's like huh? two two minutes. Minutes. it's like shit, it's just definitely shit that I just like Man, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> like it just, I walk no. off on nigga stuff. Yeah, man. because like you said, when you walk off, it'll have your mind wondering like, man, but what if? You know, what if? Like it, it, it make you think though, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Have they been lying? But look, and now I got a question, you fucked my head sure. up with that. Right? So that shit could be a distraction from what we really chasing, right? Sure, so sure. now I'm wondering. I just fucked my own head up. Exactly. Right. Is the chasing what we want really the distraction from that? Or is that a distraction from chasing see, what we want? See, what this is motherfucker really here? The see, he got the shit worse than me. No, this, this shit motherfucker here. Up. It's chasing that's like that's so cool. Look, look, give me all the weed and y'all got Think it. about it. Think about it. Think about it, though. You remember? <laughs> you remember? <laughs> Listen, you remember what they told us about weed? You remember what they told us about how bad it was for us? Say no to weed and now look at the shit now. Curing cancer. Man, that's... That's Man, look, it's chasing your dream. Remember, they just drank eight ounces. Now, now I'm thinking. Eight glasses, eight, eight glasses of water, it's too, <laughs> <glasses laughs> too much now. Eight glasses of water, it's too much now. Eight glasses of water, is too much now. You feel what I mean? I said five glasses of water. You feel what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. We ain't, like, come on, man. You used to get, have us fucked up in school. Give us red beans and milk. <laughs> bro, at the end of the day, all this shit is about balance. That's how, that's how you look at life. Like, you eat too much red beans and milk. You know. Bad for you. You too much salt is bad for you. You went to CMOS? 
mom, see, see that's what I'm saying though. See, like, see, see, mother, people, that shit popped up. Look how it fuck when Corona first up. Everybody was on CMOS because they thought that that was the answer. Fuck no. Now, how many people you see on CMOS now? Well, see, this is like, before that, it was detox well, like, But you got to all right, always right, going to be a trend. Nah, nah. That shit was always in my household, bro, because nigga West Indian descent, so it's different. Different. That's yeah, different. That's I'm different. talking about, look at the way you got people yeah. selling sea moths and even how to cook it. Yeah. For sure. You cooking it so much, you fucked up the properties in it. Right, 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 right. You really supposed to be selling this shit to people raw. They supposed to heat this up for a few minutes before they eat this shit. Right, and they, right. they ain't supposed to sit in that jar. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that shit's supposed to be done when you're ready to consume it. Right. You feel me? That's like people with salads. You put all that shit on it, it ain't good no more. Fuck no. You feel me?